In 1947, the followers of the promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam faced a very difficult time when according to the prophecies they had to migrate from Qadiyan and with the promised son and the second caliph of the promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam they had to leave the sacred and beloved place in a new country and a new place a village like Qadiyan was established which was given the name Rabwa to continue the moral and spiritual training of Ahmadis in Rabwa as well the construction of mosques started the first mosque which was built in Rabwa was Mubarak Mosque it was built in 1951 on the inauguration of this mosque hazrat musleh maud radhiyallahu anhu said we shall make another mosque which will be the central mosque and the shura meetings will also take place in it jide aur bhi ab banayenge hum noor e imaan ki sham mein jalaye in the beginning mubarak mosque was serving as central mosque but with the passage of time this mosque proved to be insufficient for the increasing population of rabwa in the shura meeting of 1964 the proposal to build a bigger central mosque was presented which was approved by hazrat khalifatul masih the second radiyallahu anhu to ask ahmadis for their financial support an ad was given in al fazl magazine a rich ahmadi by the name of sayed muhammad siddiq bani sahib promised to provide all the expenditures for this mosque because of the death of hazrat khalifatul masih the second radiyallahu anhu and war between pakistan and india in 1965 the construction of the mosque had to be postponed hazrat khalifatul masih the third rahimahullah taala after becoming khalifa instructed to start the construction of the mosque sadar anjuman ahmadiya pakistan that is central body of the ahmadiyya muslim community set up a committee comprising five people to oversee the work the secretary was sheikh mubarak ahmad sahib in this committee nazir sahib islahu irshad nazir sahib baitul mal ahmad nazir sahib umur e ama sahib zada mirza munawwar ahmad sahib and sahib zada mirza tahir ahmad sahib were included the map of the mosque was prepared by choudhry rashid ahmad sahib who was a former professor of engineering university lahore it was financed by sayed mohammad siddiq sahib on 28th of october 1966 at 8 pm the ceremony of laying the foundation stone was held over 5000 ahmadis were present for this blessed ceremony in his address hazrat khalifatul masih the third rahimahullah taala said today we have gathered here to fulfill the wish of our beloved muslim maud radhiyallahu anhu and to lay the foundation stone of aqsa mosque with supplications bowing before our lord that o oh, our lord that house which you commanded us to extend today once again we are going to extend it allah the almighty revealed to the promised messiah alai salatu wassalam wasse makanak just now when i was praying my attention went to this question that which house was the one for which the commandment was given in the revelation to extend then my attention went to this that before his advent the house which he liked for himself and spent most of his time 
was a mosque of Allah. That is why he was called Masitar, the one who spends most of his time in the mosque. So in this revelation, this commandment is also there that you continue to build the mosques, the worshippers I shall provide. After the address, Hazur laid the first brick which was brought from the building of Aqsa Mosque Khadiyan. After that, he laid six more bricks than the companions of the promised Messiah alayhi salatu wasalam, other elders of the Jamaat and the live devotees laid the bricks. One of them was Hazrat Maulvi Muhammadin Sahib radiallahu anhu, President of Sadar Anjuman Ahmadiyya, Rabuwa, Pakistan. Then Hazrat Qazi Muhammad Abdullah Sahib radiallahu anhu, Hazrat Maulvi Kudratullah Sanuri Sahib radiallahu anhu, and Hazrat Sahib Zada Mirza Azid Ahmad Sahib radiallahu anhu, these are to mention but a few. In the end, Huzur led silent prayer. Ten goats were sacrificed as sadaqa on this occasion. Thousands of rupees were given to needy as sadaqa. Later on, group photos were taken. When the construction work started, Hazur Rahimahullah Ta'ala took keen interest in this work up till the end and several times went to visit the site. Masajid hum banate hai Masajid hum banate hai Banate hai the Friday of 31st March 1972 is very significant in the history of Ahmadiyyat and the history of Rabwa. On that day, the central mosque of Rabwa was inaugurated. Suno zikre khuda tamaniyat dilon ki hai. Suno zikre khuda mehi tamani. In this Friday sermon, Hazur Rahmahullah Ta'ala said, Aaj humare dil Allah Ta'ala ki hum se is liye bhi labrail hai. Achhi badi masjid hume mil gai hai. Masjid سوائے تین مساجد کے اغلال ہیں اور وہ تین مساجد نبی اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم کی ہی مساجد ہیں جن کا ذکر قرآن کریم میں آتا ہے ان میں سے پہلی مسجد تو وہ ہے جو اللہ نے اپنے محبوب محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم کے لیے آدم علیہ السلام کی بیسک کے وقت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے لئے بنا دی اس کو ہم مسجد حرام بھی کہتے ہیں خانہ کعبہ بھی کہتے ہیں اور بیت اللہ بھی کہتے ہیں دوسری مدینہ کی مسجد تھی جو خود نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم کے ذریعے اللہ تعالیٰ نے بنوائی اور تیسری مسجد معنوی ذہاب سے دور کے زمانہ کی ایک مسجد ہے جسے مسجد اقصہ بھی کہا جا سکتا ہے اور وہ تعبیری لحاظ سے مسجد بھی ہے اور علامت بھی مسجد کی بن سکتی ہے کوئی لیکن زیادہ مطلع تعبیری پہلو نمائع ہے ایون ناو اقصہ موسک سٹینڈز آؤٹ بکاوز آف اٹس سائز in Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat mosques of the world. The area of the mosque is more than 70,000 square feet. It can accommodate 18,000 worshippers at a time. From the starting, this mosque became the center of all Jamaat activities like Ijtima Ansarullah and Ijtima Khudamul Ahmadiyya and even 
the Jalsa Salana was held in the field of this mosque. La ilaha. Aane wale ne kaha, wo hai. Main chiz kya hoon? Bas faisla yehi hai. Azur said, the one who came said about the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam in his poem. He exists, and I am, but not. This is the final verdict. Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, who is busy building mosques in the world and trying to bring the entire humanity under the flag of Allah, the One, according to the Sunnah of the Prophets, is also facing bitter opposition. 1974 was also such a year when the National Assembly of Pakistan deliberately according to their well-thought plots, doing amendment in the Constitution of Pakistan, on 7th September declared Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat to be non-Muslims. On this unethical and cruel action, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih III, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, in his Friday sermon in Aqsa Mosque, thus reacted and said, किसी के मुसलमान या गैर मुस्लिम होने का सवाल है तो शुरू से मैं कह रहा हूं इस करारदार से भी पहले कि जिस शख्स ने अपना इस्लाम लाहौर की माल की किसी दुकान से खरीदा हो उसे अपने इस्लाम की फिक्र करनी चाहिए लेकिन मैं और तुम जिन्हें खुदा खुद अपने मुंह से कहता है कि तुम मुसलमान हो after 1974, another cruelty which the government of Pakistan did on the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat was the ordinance which was issued in 1984, in result of which Hazrat Mirza Tahir Ahmad Sahib, the fourth caliph of the promised Messiah wasalam, had to leave Pakistan. Due to this ordinance, Though Khalifatul Masih was present in Aqsa Mosque, he could not deliver the Friday sermon. Maulana Bashir Ahmad Shah Sahib delivered that Friday sermon in the presence of Huzur. From then on, different elders of the Jamaat had been leading the Friday prayers in Aqsa Mosque. After the demise of Hazrat Khalifatul Masih the third, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih IV Rahimahullah Ta'ala delivered faith-inspiring addresses in this mosque. In one of his addresses he said, In April 2003, from this very mosque, Thousands of Ahmadis took the Pledge of Allegiance on the hand of Khalifatul Masih the Fifth, Ayyadahullah Ta'ala bin Israel Aziz, through MTA, and offered the funeral prayer of Khalifatul Masih the Fourth, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, behind Hazrat Khalifatul Masih the Fifth, Ayyadahullah Ta'ala bin Israel Aziz. <laughs> Before Hazrat Khalifatul Masih the fifth became Khalifa, he was also offering his Friday prayers in this mosque. Because of security issues, for a number of years, this mosque is not being used for Friday prayers again.
even today this mosque is waiting for hazrat khalifatul masih ayyadahullah taala bin nasir al aziz to come here and waiting for thousands of ahmadis to accommodate them we pray may allah bring those days soon when hazrat khalifatul masih ayyadahullah taala bin nasir al aziz once again will preach the humanity from the pulpit of this mosque the message of world peace and ahmadiyat which is true islam hayya ala salah hayya ala falah Oh